Okay, apologies for the sound because my washing machine's running, so it might go into a spin cycle. So I'll do a quick one. Uh, the Aussie bubble is causing some confusion. It's really simple. We have to think of things in two layers. The price, um, if it increases or decreases, is simply uh, a factual thing. Is that that's doing well because price is going up. USD is doing badly because price is going down. So we have to think of things as one layer. That's a factual layer. And then the indicative, suggestive part is the location. So the size is factual. The location is suggestive of what should happen. Now, should is a key word, not will, right? So um, they're selling Aussie. So we should see that bubble increase, okay? And if it decreases, then we'll see a bubble movement. But see how we're close to the 50%. So all you've got to do is just think of things in two layers. That's a factual thing. That's um, that's just a statement of fact that that's doing well today, the Kiwi. And then the, the US dollar is doing poorly. Um, where they are on the X and Y is indicative of what should happen. So once this comes down below 50%, that will become a buy. And then we will see that bubble increase. Okay, and that'd be the first time in a long, long time we've seen the Aussie bubble become strong by, I think, probably in a couple of months. So, yeah, just think of things as two layers, a factual layer and then a suggestive layer, which is the location. Um, if the dollar comes up here, then that's going to be a good buy signal for Aussie dollar. And at the moment, Aussie CAD could be a good buy because you've got the horizontal difference too, and Aussie yen. So if that goes below 50, that's going to be the only strong buy in that quadrant. So, yeah, hopefully that helps. Just a two-minute video. Um, if it's still confusing, I guess I'll need to do, like, some documentation or something. But just think of things as, t as two layers. And if the two agree, then that's great. And we have to remember that the sentiment can be wrong because the majority are allowed to profit. All right? So that's why it's suggestive, indicative. And uh, yeah, so hopefully it helps.